but the number one concern about cloud during normal times was security the number one concern about cloud now is also security after hacking incidents on zoom the paranoia has increased i'd like to know what your views and your advice are for end users let me get views from two large organizations who would know more about security on the cloud ibm and singtel first ibm mr guna thank you raju a lot of the discussion around cloud and cloud security has always been around the platform security is my data safe can i move my environment to the cloud and if i move things to the cloud then how good is the security in there from my environment perspective that my data my software all of my assets are protected but if you really look at it from in the last couple of years a lot of work actually has been done on public cloud and public cloud or cloud in general has become a much more secure platform and especially in singapore we do have local standards like ntcs there are also global standards like soc that actually ensure that a cloud provider a public cloud provider is actually more secure and probably in all essence more secure than your own uh, on premise data center but if you look at all of the incidents recently or specifically that zoom incident it all comes down to how you actually manage the user so yes there are proper key discipline and rules required for example even zoom we are using zoom as a platform now but if you really look at it having the basic discipline of having security passwords access is so critical so at this point in time now in terms of security what is probably more important is actually around the security of the device so if i have a laptop a pc or a mobile phone accessing my network or my cloud environment how secure is that environment not only is my user discipline or not clicking on um phishing emails for example or not compromising the devices but i need to secure the end device and two i need to make sure that the person who's logging on via that mobile device is my employee or a person that i have actually given access rights to so the whole concept of managing the identity of the person who is the person who's given the access and can i or am i controlling or managing the security of the end device so all of those actually become a lot more critical um even implementing things like two factor authentication a uh, single sign on or those become really critical in how you actually manage the security in a cloud environment especially now when you've moved everything to remote uh, literally overnight raju thank you guna mr lok singtel do you agree uh thanks raju um in fact i do agree and uh, let me substantiate on what uh, guna has mentioned you know zoom specifically got popular because it's easy to use and deploy with that it will come with vulnerabilities due to users behavior or pattern for example do we use a password for meeting do we place people in waiting room authenticate before letting them in convenience versus security granted there's argument on zoom uh, end to end encryption but it's primarily secure is up to us like what guna has mentioned at layer of security on top of our devices let me give you an extreme example we see some of the banks dealing with capital markets due to covid uh, has accelerated bringing trading rooms to home it's not new but it has been accelerating they also leverage and adopt native cloud based communication these are those that allows you for the traditional hoot and holler where they trade across the globe and and it includes analytics platform as well so it's seamless trading at home for traders no longer reliant on traditional dealer bots network mind you these are secure transactions but they still adopt cloud based communications of course some resources are used to improve secure uh, security posture it can be done and this is a classic example of uh, the virus being a catalyst to overhaul the mindsets of wall street or uh, closer to home singapore stock exchange so to the end users go ahead on proven cloud solutions but ensure a few things right um as guna has touched on enterprises would have some form of secure access strategy your vpn your vdis endpoint protection to secure the devices out there but don't forget yeah hackers love to attack the weakest link which are the remote users or or should i say human behavior 
right? We at Singtel has a TrustWave Spider Lab uh, email thread research team. The team has observed a major spike in COVID-19 team phishing emails. So alert your users uh, on these phishing campaigns. Remind your staff not to connect through public Wi-Fi for work and change, remember this, change their default router password at home, right? Last but not least, enable multi-factor authentication. These are some of the actionable steps. Thank you. Back to you, Raju.